Chicago, but we're able to turn around a team and do something we haven't been able to do in a number of years, which is win a playoff series. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what you learned as coach of the fire and how you can translate that into playoff success in New York? Um, I think that the most important aspect of the game, and we will probably agree on that, is the mental side of things. And we, and I will put all my efforts to not only create but develop a, a very strong team spirit, team spirit amongst the players. And that has to translate on the pitch. And that's my main responsibility, not only to the players, to the club, but to all of you, that to put a team on, on the ground, on the team, on the pitch that will make you proud, and that will compete for 90 minutes, that any given day we have a chance to win games. And hopefully the results will come, provided that the men upstairs helps it, help us. And, but the main thing to turn my previous, the previous club that I coached was to put the mentality that we can compete with anybody provided that we're physically strong, we're technically on a, on a good level and tactically very aware. And that's probably the things that I would concentrate all my efforts on. And fuck DC! <laughs> <laughs> I will get fined if I say You know, I will be thinking that way when we play the Okay. Yeah. Obviously, those rivalry games and those uh, those Darwin games, as we would consider them, even though we're not the same team. But uh, do you feel that the players understand the kind of the value of those games to us and to the rest of the fans when they're playing against teams like DC and as well against Boston? Well, I will make sure that they know. Yeah. Um, I don't kid myself. I know this is a hell of a challenge for me as a professional, but. Like I said before, I didn't come here just by luck. I was really hoping one day to get the chance, and we probably came early than I expected. But when the opportunity was available, I didn't have to think too much. And one of the reasons is because I have family here, I have friends here, I coached here before, and I know how important this club is to all of you and to all of us. And whether we play DC or any team or we play an international game, my commitment and my desire to win is always the same. Because the, my main responsibility, as I always said, is to prepare the place to win the next game. And the next game, we never know who that game will be. But we will be competing, and as long as we are prepared to compete, we will have a chance. Obviously, we'd like to, to try to win a title as soon as we can, but uh, can you talk just kind of generally about your expectations for your first year in New York and what you expect year after that? Well, I am, uh, without bragging, I am very uh, methodical, I should say, very analytical. My first objective will be to get the goalkeepers, the backboard, the defensive midfielders, and set our goals and our goals are to clean to keep at least 15 clean sheets <coughs> now i will probably take the offensive players and the attackers and say we have to score at least one goal every game and if we somehow manage to have those two together then instead of looking at 50 points we'll be looking at 45 30 points so my goal is to win every football match and hopefully that will lead us to go into the playoffs and hopefully that will lead us to go into the conference final and then hopefully to the final because I am not, I didn't come here to, to be friends with the other coaches and to be friends with everybody else. I came here to win because I know this Probably the next question, do I feel...